on this weekend before Christmas. I ask you to think about giving a gift to yourself this Christmas and all during 2013. That's to give the gift of positive thought inside of your mind about every aspect of your life. Instead of thinking the worst, you decide to give yourself the gift of thinking the best, rooted on the foundation of God as your help in every need. One of the things that you can do to really experience Christmas is to have a rebirth of Christ inside of you. To look at what Jesus said in his lifetime on earth. And to get a Bible that is highlighted in red with what he said, his sayings. And then read these often, just his words. And allow Christ to be reborn in you in this way. Allow it to take over the management of, of yourself and your soul and your mind and your body. And as you do that, you will truly have Jesus being born again on this Christmas inside of you, living in you and living as you. It has been said, if you want to know whether you're thinking correctly, check it out in the Word, capital W. The psalmist prayed this, May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to you, O God, my rock and my redeemer. I ask you to give yourself this gift. Pay careful attention to the quality of your thoughts. Are you careful to direct those thoughts towards topics that are uplifting to you, enlightening to you, and also pleasing to God? If so, I wish you a very big congratulations. But if you find that your thoughts are hijacked from time to time, and we all have this happen. Well, it is that old negativity of the world that pervades our troubled world. You can get it on the news. You can get it by listening to troubled people around you. Much of society seems to focus on and often even glamorize the negative aspects of life, and that's unfortunate. But God, this Christmas, wants you to experience God's joy and God's abundance. The only way you can experience this or experience Christmas or have a rebirth of the Christ is in here. You have to take it inside of yourself and wear it. So today, I ask you on this weekend before this holy Christmas, to enter into that joy and abundance by focusing on the things that are worthy of praise. Now, I give you some homework. Read Philippians 4, verse 8. Count your blessings instead of your hardships. And when you do, you will gladly offer words of thanks to God for God's many wonderful gifts. I wish you a very, very Merry Christmas. God bless you.